Welcome back to the channel where the art is always random and so am I. Today we are making a sketchbook episode of Pedro Gonzalez Lopez. Born 25th of November 2002, also known as Pedri. He is a professional footballer who plays as a midfield player for FC Barcelona and the Spain national team. So he is one of the best players of all time in the future, not right now, probably. I, the way I see him is one day being as good as Xavi or Iniesta if he keeps it up as much as he is right now. Or he might be one of those wonder kids who's really good young and ends up being like Cesc Fabregas who is still pretty good but just never surpassed his peak if that makes any sense. But that's a different story for a different day. So I was on Twitter. First of all, I never go on Twitter because it's always people complaining about other people, people being entitled or feeling that they're privileged to something just because of whatever they're into or something like that and it's always cancel culture people trying to cancel somebody else or people trying to ruin somebody's life because they're famous and rich and they shouldn't be allowed to do basic human mistakes or something like that but that's a different story for a different day as well so i was scrolling through twitter i was trying to look up some memes some soccer stats some soccer highlights somebody scoring some cool goals or something like that you know just bored and i come across a photo the photo is of Pedri, the FC Barcelona player. He's 19. He looks like he's 50-something. He looks wrinkly. He looks old. He looks exhausted. He looks like he hasn't slept in a few days. And people were talking about it right away. So the stat was something like this, where it's like, oh, he played a game every three or four days. And he was one of the most played players in the world. Like, well, minutes played, not, not money-wise. Minutes played. So just clarifying that. So he played a game, like I said, three or four days. He was always working, always working. Like he's one of the most active players in the field all the time. So I was like, okay, cool. Like he's really, really young and he's already going on to this. So he played a regular season. Then after the regular season, he went to play for the national team. And right when he was done with the national team, he went to the Olympics. So it was like basically nonstop soccer the whole year, basically. And which was crazy how young he is and how much he plays and how much experience he's already had. So people were complaining. Okay, it was basically like this. Let me let me get the voice ready. Ronaldo plays like a hundred million games a week and like he never gets tired. He's always playing every day and like Pedri's 19, he's young, he'll be fine. Ronaldo's 36, he's the best and he's the best in the world and he plays every day. He's he's a manimal, he's amazing. And I'm like, okay, Ronaldo cherry picks up front. Pedri's always running back and forth trying to get the ball back and so on. So that's a different story for a different day. But that's just how Ronaldo fans are and everybody else as well. They were also all complaining about salary and how they played more games when they were younger and they never got tired. But the difference is you're running against people that are out of shape and probably never work out compared to professionals who are running back and forth against other professionals who play this every single day for a living and are constantly active and trying to improve themselves to be the best of the best that's the difference compared to some guys probably out of shape running around just having fun yeah i could play like five six games a week like that too because you don't really push yourself but that's a different story too so where am i going with this then everybody started complaining about salaries oh professionals make too much money but what people have to understand is if a pay player gets paid 50k a week or 100k a week they're probably making the club in the long run a few million so it's like yes you might also feel like life is not fair because it isn't unfair like how do they make what i make in a year in like two three weeks or whatever or maybe even less time some some get crazy contracts but example messi he gets paid 70 million euros a year i think or 50 million euros anyway let's just say 100 million dollars he makes 100 million dollars a year and then people are like oh he gets paid too much he's overpaid this and this but if he makes the team 200 million dollars worth in contracts for sponsorships and everything else then it kind of makes sense to play the best player of all time that much money to keep him in your team and stuff like that but the whole point of this rant was kind of that where like people that are normal people like try to compare themselves to professionals they think they're better than them at certain things like oh I could run that much if I was getting paid that much money. I could do this. I work 10 days in one week and I still have energy to go out and do this. But like I said, the difference is you're not playing at the top of the top level in the world. You're just an everyday person. If you do go play, you're probably playing against people who go to work and then just say go home, play soccer once a week and are decent. But there was a professional basketball player who retired. He's probably like, probably like 50 by then or 45. He was pretty old for like whatever. He was playing against top high school players or top college players and he invited them all in because when he was playing professionally they said he sucked and he was the worst player 
in the team, which he admitted. He was like, okay, I might suck for professionals, but when it comes to everyday high level players, I'll beat them anytime. So he brought in a bunch of different players all the time. And after a few weeks, a few months, whatever it was, he went to like 49 games played, no, no, like 60 games played, and he won like 50 something, and he only lost like 10, which is a crazy stack considering he's old, he probably hasn't played in a while, and he's still whooping these top players' ass who are young and very, very talented and might go pro as well, which goes to show you that, like, just because a professional misses an open shot doesn't mean you're better than them, and... Most of the time, they do miss open shots, and they still suck, and I would probably score too. But anyways, this was just a random rant video. It doesn't really matter. I just wanted a, something to talk about throughout the week, and I had nothing else to talk about, but this came up, so I wanted to practice my live commentary skills and go from there. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, just because your favorite player misses an open shot doesn't mean you'd score, but it does mean you'd probably hit post at least. Because some of them get paid way too much, like them to miss open shots. And now I'm out. Thanks for watching.